What you're seeing here today is a culmination of a week-long program where we teach problem solving through technology. This is something that the Marine Corps has been really interested in because, frankly, they have some of the toughest problems in the world. Now we just have to give them the tools and the mentality to solve those problems with emerging technology that is available and democratized to everybody. And so the way this training program works is it's a five-day, scenario-driven, challenge-driven workshop that builds on the technology and the learning that happens from the previous day. So the way Monday might kick off is you learn computer-aided design software and then immediately kick into small little challenges on the 3D printer that culminates into a larger team-driven overnight print and challenge. Next day, shifting gears, we get into welding. Another very analog type of problem-solving process, but it works great in places like on the battlefield or even at commands and in, in the community. And every day of the week continues in this process from electronics and learning to solder and building circuits and then learning to program Arduino and building sensor networks and solving problems using laser pointers and our laser diodes and motion detectors and ultrasonic sensors. That culminates into a large one-on-one -on -one robotics sort of battle bot scenario. It is a systems integration of all the disparate technologies they got to learn earlier in the week. And this battle royale that happens on Thursday is, is, a, is sort of the precursor to a larger capstone event. So at the end of the week of this long training program, the Marines get an opportunity to solve a larger scenario-driven and even sometimes actor-driven scene that, that is mapped almost directly to a real-life scenario. And in that, it's a culmination of all the tech they learned that week. They can use a 3D printer to solve a problem. They can use welding or laser cutting or scanning or something like that to solve a problem. And so they get to, to choose what arrow in their quiver they're going to use in this larger scenario. We, of course, drive the scenario such that many of those solutions will require these unique tools. And so at the end of the week, the one thing that we want them coming away from is the confidence to pick up any one of these tools and use it to solve a problem.